for you, the more effective your position will be. If you're like, oh, well, who cares where that right hand is? That's going to be to your detriment, not benefit. The thing about passing half guard or, or knee shield or anything like this is that it doesn't just get frozen in time because he's going to be doing stuff on the bottom to get to the top probably get to sweep you. So you don't have really a lot of time. So you don't want to let him push you backwards either. So you're going to be pushing into here. So you can just do Yep. No, no, you're good. So I want to get around this knee and go from a half guard to a three quarter guard passing the guard. So as we're here, okay. Make sure he doesn't get advantage of that underhook. So this hand I'll block here and walk that foot heel toe so that I can now begin to get into three-quarter guard. From here I can mount to three-quarter mount and then pass or I can control this right here, scoop my hip back and head forward so I can make the space for this knee to pop through right here. I'm wedging his foot, I'll do it from the other side, his bottom leg. So now, as I push pull and I keep myself engaged here, because I don't want him to be able to move his head, because he has an underhook right here. If he exposes this arm here, he's gonna get kimored, but for me, it's too far to reach back. So I have to have this leg here, because hooking this leg, controlling this leg, is the counter to the underhook. Always remember, when they have an underhook, hooking this leg, let's say, from a half guard, or from side control is the counter to the underhook. But here, this is also a counter to the So what I know is a couple things. If he wants to shoot that underhook, he's gonna have to uncross his feet. So you anticipate the uncrossing and you pass. If he's just gonna sit here, he's not using the underhook. A lot of guys, what they do is they keep this foot here and then this one comes off, and then I know he's gonna bridge strong, pushing, yeah, bridge. And then you can take it out that way by keeping this one away. Okay? And then you can begin that, do something here, whether it's now, whatever, north, south, because I would rather go here, extend this leg here, and then just get north, south, and begin to deteriorate him from the north, south. Turn him out, okay? So one last time here. Pinch, and I'm gonna reach, and 
as I reach, I'm gonna roll over my left shoulder and I'm gonna pull him up and over this way here. Yeah. And again, my hand goes from gripping to the toes. So now, it's my elbow. I'm gonna now aim right for his, and I wanna just pinch right here. I don't care about his hand attacking my foot. If he starts grabbing from my foot, go ahead. I'll finish his foot before. But if he begins to do anything to me, like grab with his right hand, my toes, right here, yeah, I can kick it off and finish him. The key is pinching your knees. Don't do this. You can, but you don't need to. Because the problem here is that he, in all reality, almost has a knee bar. So if he hooks your this leg right here with his hand, grab my heel. Grab, grab the Achilles right here. Yeah. And I just arch away. That right there probably would not be good for me. So I want to be here. So if he grabs that heel, I can hear it. And I can begin to finish it. So, so, so I'm going to just show you guys. So you get here, and you grab it. Okay? As you're trying to reach underneath, if he lets you, you can grab for him. Grab here, yes. Go back. Second, you grab here, yes. And then you're just going to go. You stay. See, and you get to the toes, okay? Even though I'm in here, it's going to be hard to finish it here because he's probably going to put on the boot and pull his toes back. Yeah. So now the problem here, it's, it's strong. But it's, keep pulling it back. Okay? Like the foot lock foot. But the second I go to any of the toes, I can very easily curl it and bend it. But I'm pinching my knees here. This one does me nothing. But I keep him in this spread out configuration. And I go for the toes right here. I go from here to right here and pinch. And insert.